Plant breeding is the art and science of improving important agricultural crops for the benefit of mankind. Plant breeders work to make our food, fiber, forage and industrial crops more productive and nutritious. Plant breeding is basically a deliberate effort by human beings to change or to manipulate the genetics of the plants by improving the quality, the nutrition or productivity of the plant and so it results in the creation of new or improved plant types that uh, have desirable characteristics that can be used for food, you can use it for feed for animals, you can use it for fiber, for fuel, for pharmaceuticals, so it has uh, a lot of uses. In a world with a rapidly increasing population, the demand for food and plant-based fuel is on the rise. Plant breeders play a crucial role. You select plants that have those desirable characteristics that you want, and you uh, combine or recombine these plants by crossing them or uh, cross-pollinating them. And um, then what results from those cross-pollinations, the seed that results, you actually plant it and then you select plants that have inherited those desirable characteristics. Uh, if you think of it, uh, for example, we have increased uh, population growth, uh, increased urbanization, and this has placed a huge demand on food. And um, as a result, we need more land to grow food, but the land is not expanding, it's actually decreasing. So we need to increase yields per unit area that we produce and you also know uh, the climate change that we are facing. Uh, it's causing a lot of environmental changes. So where we are growing our crops, the environments have changed. The University of KwaZulu-Natal has an extensive plant breeding program that will equip future plant breeders with the necessary skills to be successful. Uh, for plant breeding, when we look at plant breeding, we have conventional uh, plant breeding methods, which are the, like the traditional uh, way we do pollinations based on the natural way that the plant uh, actually in nature it reproduces. So those are the conventional or the traditional plant breeding methods. So we introduce you to we introduce uh, the students to um, those breeding methods. We also have modern breeding technologies now that. Um, using molecular um, biology, so all the biotechnology, uh, we are also incorporating it in plant breeding. We also have uh, labs, we have uh, tunnels that we use uh, for our crosses and our evaluations. We have a farm, uh, Okulinga farm here in uh, Peter Marisberg, where we also conduct uh, plant breeding research. Hi, my name is Marilyn Christian and I'm a PhD student in the discipline of plant breeding. I chose the discipline of plant breeding for two particular reasons. I love agriculture, I love being in nature. I love the aspect of knowing where our food comes from, how it's produced, how it gets from farm to table. With climate change, we have a drop in our nutritional quality of food that's been produced. And our task is now to improve the quality of food to ensure food security for our nation. Being at UKSVM since undergrad, it's been an amazing experience. The staff and support staff at UKSVM has been phenomenal, especially the lecturers who's always there to help you whenever you need anything, as well as the admin staff. They're very, very supportive. To study plant breeding at UKZN, a minimum APS score of 28 points is required with math, English, life orientation, and either physics life sciences or agricultural sciences. Visit our website for more information. I think anyone who has got a passion for creating new things, like for me, I joined plant breeding because I wanted to see the product. And anyone who has a desire to solve um, you know, food security issues uh, in the world and to solve malnutrition, um, to help out with a lot of different things can join plant breeding.